Hi, and welcome to my garage. To go in there, the key's uh, three and a quarter inches long, of course, of the uh, clamp bolt. And the, I've checked it out, the clamp bolt is, um, uh, does miss the, um, uh, the ways. <laughs> it's amazing I didn't make a mistake there, because I did make a mistake when I was drilling this out. I drilled the wrong hole. So, we notice we've now got a, um, a different size screw in that one. These are five mil. They were supposed to be uh, six. I didn't uh, like the six. The lands weren't that big, but um, this one's now a six mil. But anyhow, it hasn't affected the job. Another one, no, another mistake to chalk up. All right, go and drill some gibber uh, screw holes. Catch you later. Just filing down a um, a key for uh, for the gib. Point seven five, five point seven three, five point eight two. I've got to take a bit out of the middle. Take a bit out all, all over. Seven five point seven nine point seven five. They're getting close, and it needs hand. So we'll just clean that up a little bit. Five point seven seven, five point seven eight, five point seven six. That's it. Point eight, point eight two is a foul, so it's only a couple of foul. Yeah, but um, it's only so I get a nice fitment inside there so it fits nicely fits nicely in there now for the gib screws
Have you ever shortened a, um, a, uh, a bolt uh, without putting the nut on first and then found that even after all the coaxing with a, um, with a file on the tip, <coughs> there's still a lot of trouble to try and get that uh, nut to fit back on again? There's a simple remedy. <coughs> Put the nut on first, then cut the bolt shorter, file it, grind it, whatever you need to do to uh, make it look nice and functional. And then use the, use the nut, run the nut off. Any burrs that are uh, that are on that cut edge will be pushed over by the nut. Such a simple remedy, isn't it? My father taught me that 50 years ago. <clears throat> Occasionally, I forget to put the nut on first. <laughs> yeah, but it works. Shortening these, um, these are the, uh, the Gibbs Gib screws, adjustment screws. The um, on the spindle head, <coughs> excuse me, on the spindle head. Uh, they're just four millimeter screws. Okay, we just, <coughs> excuse me, we just mount this in a uh, cordless drill. Another good reason to leave, to leave the nut on. And we can run that up, run that into the, uh, into the grinder. Make it nice and round. Okay. Off to the grinder. I made a basic mistake when I made the pattern for this spindle head. The um, and I'll show a still. The um, the diagram here shows five eighths for that outside land, which is the, um, the large one on the, si on the side there. Uh, it also shows 5 eighths from the outside edge to the, out or the outside edge of the main, main part to the step back or step in of the tongue. <clears throat> I didn't notice, I didn't pay atten enough attention and not working with uh, fractions, it, it didn't stick out. But um, and I'll show you after where when I fitted it to the um, to the stand, the, to the ways, it was off center. And what I mean by off center is the um, the screw boss. This uh, screw boss here is bolted to that to that tongue and the uh, the center of that screw boss is to line up with the um, uh, the tunnel for the uh, for the screw thread it didn't line up it was it was out a bit and I took me a while to work out what had what was wrong with uh, with my setup and um, 
part of the um, that the way this fits the alignment of that uh, spindle head to this um, stand the um, the headstand <coughs> is the offset of the ways on the headstand I can't remember I think it was 11 sixteenths there has to be 11 sixteenths clearance between the uh, um, uh, the, the, the lands for this way to screw to so from the side of the land sorry you're not in picture from the side of the land on this side to the outside edge I think it was 7 sixteenths so there, there's a relationship between how where this way is, is uh, fixed to the stand and then of course the relationship then is the alignment of the spindle head in relation to the um, uh, to the the tunnel for the thread to uh, tr uh, uh, travel through yes it did cause me a little bit of grief I, I have got a fix for it the best fix of course is to uh, recast the um, um, the uh, spindle head but that's not going to happen now that may happen in the future and then I can use this machine then to machine the spindle head but at the present moment there's a there's a simple fix and um, it will get me it will get me out of uh, out of trouble Now the uh, the offset I was talking about was the um, that edge that edge there on the tongue in relationship to the edge of that um, 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 spindle spindle boss. It was supposed to be five eight. Now, I didn't make it five eight. I uh, actually made the tongue um, center to the whole thing. So. If you refer back to the drawing, it's supposed to be 5 8 um, offset on the right hand side, which would leave a 3 quarter offset on the left hand side. Now, um, the problem I, I ended up with was this, this tongue here was set over to the left further than I wanted. And it wasn't lining up with the um, the tunnel in the back there. That's where the the screw this the screw that's going to go down through here and tapped into the housing there. That screw has to travel down and uh, be in that tunnel. So. To overcome the problem, I've put a three millimeter wire in there. If I had a three millimeter by five millimeter um, um, key, that would work uh, uh, pretty good, but I don't. So I'm using this um, three millimeter wire, and that's um, that's now realigned the tongue roughly with the edge of the um, the ways I actually get good clearance on the ways you can't see that can you can you see that I'll let's have a look later and um, I still get clearance inside where is it okay I still get clearance inside to fit the um, the keyway so I still get the keyway in the 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 gib I should say I use a piece of key, uh, key but it's a gib I still have the clearance on the gib even though I've got a, uh, a three mil spacer on this side so that's going to work the uh, the alignment 
across the back there. That is now correct. So, um, yeah, small mistake, but um, one I've been able to work around. The, um, the three Gibbs screws are in. So, and uh, just needs a little bit of final adjustment. And the the lock the lock bolt is in for the ways. It's amazing how that works. Doesn't take much to um, tension that end, tension that down and jam the lock onto the, the jam the spindle head on the ways. It works quite well. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Catch you later.